I am Dr. Lakshmi with my, I am a ratified uh, AIOS member with my number 16911. So my topic is single sweep retinoscopy, pediatric eye screening made easy. So I would like to introduce this topic by saying that India has a lot of children, that is 39% which is 47.19 crore and uh, Amongst them, only 40% are school going, which still includes 18.87 crore children. So in this, the schools that are there, there are 15 lakh schools, of which 70%, which is 10 lakh, are government schools. So what happens, whether it's a government school or a private school, is they're more concentrating on the studies and medals that nobody is actually really interested, whether it's the school teacher or whether it's the doctor who's supposed to go to the school, is not really interested in how they are seeing. And now we come to the prevalence of refractive errors in these children. 14% of the ch school going children, which is 2. Cro 2.5 crore children they actually need glasses and 70 percent of them they are they need myopic glasses myopic correction uh, we are concentrating on this myopic correction 1.75 crores in our study what happens is especially in a government setup one doctor goes to one school to do entire screening that is entire medical screening along with the hospital screening, the eye screening. So it is uh, generally limited to the doctor asking the child whether they can see clearly. If the child says he can see clearly, then he is in one group. He won't go to the group where vision testing is done. In India, this is what is happening. So we aim to study the effectiveness of just a single sweep retinoscopy. That is, we just do one sweep of the retinoscopy as a refractive screening modality in school growing children. This is a post prospective study. We did this for five months. We excluded all the media opacities, previous intraocular surgeries and nystagmus. What we did was we made the children stand in a straight line in their own uh, schools and we started doing single sweep retinoscopy, sweep in either direction, 180 degree and 90 degree in both the eyes. A uh, major uh, thing that we did was we did this in their own schools and we tried to darken the environment as you can see in this video that we have tried to darken it and we also compared um, doing this single sweep timing to that of auto refractometer timings. So after we did this, in each case, uh, this was to evaluate the effectiveness of whether single sweep retinoscopy works or not. So we did vision screening, uh, auto refractometry and subjective correction in all the kids to assess the accuracy of these tests and uh, after doing this, we realized that in the with reflex and against reflex, the myopic group included 92.36%, which shows that there's a very high true positive rate. Along with that, there is very high sensitivity to this test. After statistical analysis, there's a very high positive predictive value and accuracy. But along with that, we have to see that specificity is very low. So we cannot actually uh, use this as a diagnostic test. The value of high sensitivity, negative predictive value and accuracy suggests that this is an excellent screening tool in, scre in schools. And when we compare the time taken, uh, as we can see in these videos, the first video gets over and stops, second video continues to go and it's statistically significant, proven. The advantages of this technique is it can be done by optometrists, ophthalmic technicians and not ophthalmologists. In India, we have one ophthalmologist for 250,000 uh, uh, patients in a rural setting and 25,000 patients in an urban setting. Only an ophthalmologist cannot be held responsible for all the screening. So it can be done by a lot of people. It is inexpensive and it is easy and fast. We have a few limitations as well. There is a lot of inter and intra observer variation that we found due to room changes. We cannot darken a few rooms along with that children's cooperation. They will not look farther. They will keep looking at the retinoscope, but that doesn't affect our study very much because it only increases the sensitivity uh, and quantification is not possible. Generally current scenario, whatever we are supposed to do, this takes about eight minutes time. But uh, uh, it is too much. Eight minutes for each child, which is 2.5 crore children, it is too much. So various efforts by eminent people have been done to shorten this time or to shorten the burden, to decrease the burden. 
the one study is by Priya Adishesh Reddy et al. who said that class teachers should screen the children. This actually saves some time. But the problem with this is the class teachers have their own burden. They don't think that this is their responsibility. They don't really do this. Second, Lapam Panda et al. They actually said photo screeners to school going children ha is very accurate. But each photo screener costs 5 lakh rupees. We cannot give this to each doctor who is going to visit. Abadan Khan Amitava he uh, uh, et al. They actually said that Bruxner's reflex testing for anisometropia and amblyopia detection. This is actually a very quick test, very good screening for anisometropia, but doesn't uh, quantify the, um, uh, sorry, the, uh, but doesn't diagnose all the myopes. So I would like to conclude that in comparison with a lot of other studies, our study is economic easy and it is a quick method. Single sweep retinoscopy is a quick method to identify those who need further evaluation and only those children can be taken for evaluation. Thank you.